Greetings and welcome back to City Skylines. I made a few new changes to the game. I downloaded a few mods. There are a, <laughs> a whole bunch of mods on the Steam Workshop. It's totally amazing. And I, uh, I searched through a few and I found a few nice ones. So to start off with, let's take a look here. So as you can see, pollution is no longer purple or whatever whatever color it used to be it's now a reddish brown color uh, but that's just a, a minor change i've also added a few assets mainly a whole bunch of parks unfortunately they don't really show up as any uh, icons like these so we kind of have to try and remember which one was which but in the end it doesn't really matter all that much it's pretty much the uh, size of them that matters when you place them down. So you got a small park like this one, but this one doesn't seem to work properly. But these ones do. Uh, well, yeah, you can't really see it until I place them down. But eventually I will be placing most of these. Also got a, a big one. No, that's not a big one. Oh, well, we'll see later on. And there's also some gameplay changes. So uh, as you can see, now these uh, patches of uh, ground cost a lot more than they used to which is good because in this game it's very easy to get money and now it's also a bit easier to actually spend it especially considering the fact that i do play and let's actually continue while i'm talking uh, it's very easy to uh, accumulate a lot of money as you can see and now i can spend it on various things i've also downloaded downloaded a mod that disables all the uh, money bonus you get from reaching milestones so that will take out another easy money income that should make the game be a little more balanced maybe uh, some other stuff uh, yes i got rid of abandoned buildings at least i think that's what the mod is supposed to do Normally it should, and you might think, well, getting rid of abandoned buildings might make the game easier, but it is not the case. Or, well, it may make it a little more realistic, perhaps, because uh, usually when buildings go abandoned, you just have to go demolish them and a new building pops up. But now, without abandoned buildings, companies and uh, industries and all that sort of stuff will just uh, operate badly and you will need to act accordingly to make sure that they do operate in a better way. So it's really sort of like having abandoned buildings, but where the where the uh, people can just uh, repopulate the buildings or rebuild new, uh, new companies on top of those buildings. Crap, I'm really explaining this in a very, very bad way, but uh, it's sort of in the same way as it worked in SimCity, where you had abandoned buildings and people just uh, rebuild something on top of it without you having to do anything and now that sort of simulates that thing so we have to keep a close track on how good everything is going so if you have all those pop-ups for uh, buildings having bad uh, amount of workers or anything at all you just have to act accordingly instead of just bulldozing stuff or downloading a mod that automatically bulldozes anyway there's a few other things I might uh, remember what I did. In the meantime, let's try and build some more streets. So let's see what I could do. I need a bunch of... Yeah, well, let's start off with industry, it seems. I can just add a few more streets in here. Like that. Oh, and snapping is on. I don't really like snapping. <laughs> Well, let's just continue this. Then let's paint this all into orange. Oh yeah, now I remember another mod that I installed. Uh, the cars will no longer despawn. This was, I think, mostly something that uh, happened with commuter cars. So think things from uh, citizens. When you had a huge uh, backup of cars, 
the cars would sometimes despawn. Now they no longer do so. So if you have a traffic issue, it will become a major issue. I think that's a, a good change. <laughs> I'll have to wait and see actually. I think there's another mod that I added. But I kind of forgot. But uh, let's just continue playing. We got a bit more industry here. And apparently this house is no longer having... Oh, yes. I should maybe extend these uh, a little more. I might just connect it all the way through. So that I can easily build some zones in between here. Because that will be where I will be expanding to. Alright. Now the plan is for me to try and expand this residential area a bit closer to the, to the farms. And then you have the issue with the noise pollution. And one way I think I could fix this is to just make a big park in between residential and industry and that will do two things mainly the park will make sure that i do get extra land value everywhere and second thing is that the park will, pre will pretty much be on top of this uh, this here all this intermediate noise pollution and if it extends far enough it will pretty much make sure that no noise pollution reaches the residential area and the nice thing about this is that eventually, once the city does grow, all of this will become residential as well. Because there's really no other way to uh, do things. As an industry will be moving out of the city further and further away. And then I will have a nice big park in the center of my city. Which is very much something that I was talking about uh, quite a while earlier. So that will fix a lot of things. But in the meantime, we're not there yet. Let's try and extend these uh, residential zones. I've also been uh, thinking about my city. And at first I didn't really like the layouts. I was talking a bit about my previous city. The one I started when I first got the game. That I liked it a lot more. But... After a while, I started to uh, like this one even more because it is somewhat more realistic. Because, this is easy to see with the traffic, it is uh, somewhat grid-like, but then again, not quite. So you got some uh, squares and rectangles, but they are somewhat uh, differently oriented. And I think it looks okay. It's not quite as charming as my previous city. Which, uh, actually, I'm, I'm gonna show it. So, uh, wait, maybe I should save this one first. Okay, I guess it's saved. It saves quite fast. Let's take a look. Uh, no, wait. Load game. Uh, this one right here. Let's just take a quick look. And I think it's a bit more aesthetic aesthetically pleasing. But it's not all that very realistic. And it's something I might do for some uh, more outlying towns. For some secondary towns, but not for the main town. Because, yes, take a look here. So, as you can see, this is actually the city that I used to make the uh, thumbnail picture for the videos. And as you can see, it, to me, is quite pleasing because... For some reason the road layout is somewhat somewhat random and somewhat not. You got a few curves here and there, you got all these and a building on fire, you got all these streets and blocks that are almost about the same size but different shapes and I think everything interlocks pretty nicely but I don't know. It looks nice for a, for a quite outlying town, but I think if I want to make some sort of uh, dancer city core from this, that it, it might not be what I want it to be. Anyway, let's uh, get back to the other town. Uh, yes, this one. Uh, 
Now, what do I want to do next with my town? Uh, let's think. Well, I don't think I have any municipal buildings that I really need to build. I might have to take a look. Oh yeah, and one thing that I did notice was, for example, that I uh, would need more uh, education. As you can see, uh, we are at the edge of all of this and I actually don't have enough capacity for all the elementary school uh, children. But on the other hand, I have a lot of farming industry here. Oh, and apparently we don't have enough water there. I guess I didn't connect it. Nope. Let's fix that first. Alright, so as you can see, these already have no not enough workers. And the issue is that all my people are too educated. So I will keep the education budget low enough so that I do continue having uneducated people. So that I have people to go work here. And apparently I am uh, having some garbage issues here as well. Let's take a look at the budgets. Uh, let's up it a little bit, but that won't really help all that much because this... Yes, we got two uh, filled landfills. That's not good. This one is 30% full. And let's paint all of this green. What else they built? Oh, right here, I think. Alright, so we got a bit more residential. Now, let's connect a few more roads. I might uh, connect this one as well. Yeah, why not? Oh, and apparently I did something bad. Let's take a look. Oh yes, I severed this thing. Let's make it go that way. Fixed. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> Alright. We've got more green to paint. And some garbage issues here as well. Well, soon enough I will get the incinerator, which will make things a, a little bit easier, I think. I might need to build a little bit here as well. To try and uh, make this a little more compact. Let's see. So let's extend this a little bit. Oh, and snapping is on again. <laughs> Seems like every time you reload, it uh, turns itself back on. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I want to make it not look too ugly, but it does still need to be somewhat random-ish. <laughs> I don't know. I hope it looks decent. It should. Let's paint this all green and we'll be needing to build some new parks soon enough. Need some extra water here as well. All right, uh, maybe this little thing here. Okay, now how is water consumption? We are on the edge, and same with electricity. Can I up the budget? Yes, I can. Let's up this one to 100, and let's up this one to 115. Yep, that's uh, okay. Yes, we do have some uh, garbage issues. That's not good. I guess I've got to build a new landfill. Because the problem is that with these landfills filled, all these garbage trucks just don't work anymore. So, uh, would have been nice if the garbage trucks from these landfills also went over to uh, work for this one. That's kind of a bad thing. So, let's build another landfill. Although I guess I should try and move it away because sooner or later I will be populating this area. So I gotta find some place to put all this garbage. Uh, let's see. So I might extend the road down here. 
And we have quite a bit of money. I could buy a new tile. Although they do cost about 70,000 now. And it does increase. I think the uh, 25th tile that I want to buy is about 1 million. So that's quite a big uh, expense. But I think it's good that way. Because uh, what the normal game had, it was about, what, a few thousand to buy a tile. I think it was almost just... Uh, I don't know, it wasn't really needed to have a price like that. It's, uh, it's almost for free, so they might as well give it for free. Hmm, now what do I do? Garbage. Where do I put it? Yeah, okay, let's just extend the road here. Let's make it a dirt road. We'll put it all the way down here. Let's just try and move away the problem. Let's build two. Actually, let's build more. Let's build four. Because I do want to empty the other landfills. It's gonna cost me quite a bit of money. But... It's worth it. Now let's empty all of these. I wanna get rid of it. And so that I can easily extend my uh, town that way. I should be getting a lot of garbage trucks from all of this. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That's mainly because I did up the budget. How many do I have? If each, if each of these supplies about seven to nine garbage trucks, that's quite a bit. And we got those as well running around. <laughs> wow, garbage trucks everywhere. Hopefully this whole garbage exodus doesn't take too long. Luckily they will go through this residential area. And while that may not be very pleasant for all the people living here, to have all those garbage trucks running in front of them, it'll only take a while and this is not an area where we have heavy traffic. So we should be totally fine. They'll be moving this way, I guess. So that's good. We'll have some heavy traffic here for a while, but that's all right. Now, how are we doing in population wise? Yes, not many people are moving in. We need more industry, it seems. As all of this has been uh, built. So, I need some more stuff here. I guess I could expand up here for now. There's still some fertile land. So let's go ahead and do that. It's not gonna be totally uh, efficient. Not always like this because as I said, this will eventually become a residential area and having these blocks fairly big will make it easier for me to put parks and all sort of stuff in between them. And also I think not having everything interlocking is very nice because as you can see it makes the farmland look a little bigger. You got all this green in the middle but well a green thing should also be growing on farms I guess. So you could just imagine that it's a green plants here and you got some grain down here. I think it makes, makes it look a little bigger because the amount of buildings proportionally is smaller. Right, now, what am I gonna do? Let's try and extend this. Okay, and let's fill it up. That'll give us quite a bit of farmland. That should be enough for a while, I hope. They are almost instantly building there. Okay, now let's wait what they do. We got some uh, things popping up. Okay, that's good. Now what do we got for the residential stuff? Everyone is building some things. I don't have that much commercial demand, but I should have a commercial district here. Yeah, they should be building stuff here if they want to. But it seems like I still have some patches open in here as well. So it doesn't seem like we have all that much commercial demand. But 
uh, I might actually drop the commercial taxes. It's not really that significant for my town. As you can see, most of my taxes come from industry and from residential. So dropping these taxes down might create more demand. I think it does. Yes, yeah, as you can see, we got a new uh, shop. That's good. That's one way of making sure that you have a little bit more demand. I think it does make sense. Lower taxes, more demand. It's something I actually did when playing SimCity 4, when I wanted to make a town or a city without any dirty industry. All you gotta do is start off the game with building some residential and some commercial, and you drop the taxes from commercial to, uh, to 0% or 1% or something very, very low. And that created some sort of demand for commercial. And that way you could pretty much almost build a town without any dirty industry. Later on I did want to go for high-tech industry because it was clean industry. Anyway, enough about SimCity 4. This is SimCity... Uh, great. <laughs> this is City Skylines, not SimCity Skylines. I almost misspoke there. We got a lot of garbage trucks. Out of traffic handling it. It is... Uh, on the edge but it's red but you can still see traffic flowing so that's the important thing and this shouldn't take too long well it may take a while <laughs> we'll just have to wait for all the uh, garbage exodus now i'm tempted of building more roads but it does seem like i need to wait quite a while oh and let's put it to double speed Again, I forgot to put it to a higher speed. Of course, things go very slowly that way. Oh, we got a plane here. Where are you going? Jet plane. Flying to Santa Cruz. There's uh, quite a bit of passengers on that. That's nice. And I won't be having a uh, airport for quite a while. I'm still a very, very small town. I don't need it yet. I neither do I need a uh, metro or a train station yet. And I can't even build one because I'm not connected to the rail ra railway <laughs> yet. Wow. So I gotta buy one of these tiles to uh, manage to do that. But yeah, I don't need to. I wanna grow somewhat slowly in a more realistic way. I guess you figured that one out already. We got a lot of money. And how close are we? Uh, we're getting there. So we will almost have these garbage incinerators. Which will be very nice. That will allow me to get rid of all the landfills. And hopefully I can get rid of the landfills before I reach this zone here with my city. I think I should. It's still uh, still far away. I don't even think the core of the city will reach that far. I think it'll be something like uh, this, perhaps. That's already pretty big. Now, I don't seem to have any demand for anything. So I gotta wait until they figure things out themselves. Apparently, I forgot to give these people water. Okay. Let's draw some more... Water lines, pipelines, whatever it may be. What, what do they call it anyway? Water pipe. Yeah, see, well, I was close enough. And for now, I pretty much only can make the uh, farmland industry. Simply because I don't want to make the, the uh, dirty generic industry. And there's not really any option within my boundaries. So we got some ore industry that I can build there. Some oil down there. But there is nothing in here. And I also don't have a lot of trees. So I can't do any forestry industry. Well, there are a few trees, but not that much. So I need to get over here to the edges of this peninsula. Or up here next to uh, all these river banks. So I gotta rely on the farmland for now, but it's doing fine. 
I still got a, a little bit of room to expand. And still, that just doesn't mean that I need to only expand on this uh, fertile land. You can build farms anywhere, but on fertile land, of course, they will be a lot more profitable. And if they are a lot more profitable, you'll be getting a lot more taxes. So this is going well. We need about a thousand more for the next milestone. And we got a nice uh, few rings going on here. So um, apparently I did chop off this ring, it seems. So this one doesn't go all the way here and it stops here. I might need to change that later on. I might actually pull that one through. I'm not sure yet. Some changes will still happen. I will be probably getting rid of roads, uh, putting some around roads in uh, different ways. Especially when I try to expand and get some more higher density areas. I'm gonna have to wait and see what traffic does. Speaking of traffic, all right, well, it seems like all the garbage trucks are gone, which doesn't make sense. We should still have a whole bunch running around here. It's emptying, emptying. All right, so where are all the garbage trucks? Alright, well I guess I gotta wait. Maybe they come in waves. We got a few going around here, but that's not it. That's weird. I would have expected like a lot of them to run around. We got a lot of them here, of course. Maybe they just don't have the capacity to do both things, the city and the landfills. So let's try and up the budget. So that they can actually have more garbage trucks and get rid of all that crap. Oh, now we got more of them. Probably because I did up the budget. Yeah, maybe I should do that. It's not that expensive. Let's see, 150. What do I pay? Not all that much. Yeah, let's up the budget. Hopefully this doesn't create any traffic issues. But that will make this go a lot faster. Hmm. Oh well, it's just uh, a wait and see situation. In the meantime, we have pretty much filled up all the residential again. And the farmland is almost all built up, which is nice. Alright, well anyway, that'll be it for this episode. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, uh, yes, I think we did fine. So anyway... Hopefully you enjoyed it, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.